shiqqaha ba'id the prophet sallallahu eyes was wide and it was very dark black it was very black his eyes was black sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أدعج العينين وكان عينيه بؤب عينيه صلى الله عليه وسلم شديد السواد وكان النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم في بياض عينيه حمرة You see this the white area inside your eyes or in your eyes the white area it was not a pure white, it was white mixed with, with, with red, a kind of reddish. In Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, kana ashkal al-ayn. Qala shu'ba li-simak ma ashkal al-ayn. Qala ya'ni tawila shiqq al-ayn. Kanat shiqq al-ayn yabda min khaddeh sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tawil. A long eyes. And above this, or this beautiful eyes, surrounded with eyelashes. Or there's eyelashes, eyelashes. And they were thick, and black, and curly. The Prophet Wasallam's eyelashes were thick, and black, and curly. كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أهدب الأشفار. And the Prophet Sallallahu his eyebrows Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also were black and thick. There is a lot of hair in them. And they were almost connected above his nose, but they were not completely connected. And they were curved, like a curve. Above his eyes, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, has been described. كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أزج الحواجب ثوابغ في غير قرن صلى الله عليه وسلم. And above this beautiful eyebrows, he had a white, a wide forehead, and it was rosy. His forehead, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the color, the, the color of his Forehead was a rosy, as the mention in Hadith Hind. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, كان ضليع الفم, يعني واسع الفم. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his mouth was long also. In his feet, it was not a small mouth. He had sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And there is a space between his teeth. He has a wide mouth and a space between his teeth. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His teeth, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, were straight. Were straight. In order. In, in a perfect shape. Until the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa teeth were broken. Some of them were broken. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like in Taif, when he went to Taif to deliver da'wah and they rejected him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and some of the ignorance among them, they stoned the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa and hit the Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and to the extent that some of these rocks broke the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi teeth, his molar teeth. And also, this the same thing happened to him in, also in Uhud. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the battle of Uhud, his teeth, some of his teeth were broken during the battle of Uhud. Otherwise, his teeth were straight and perfect. Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam and they were white. كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سهل الخدين يعني إيه سهل الخدين ليس فيه ما بروز. The Prophet Sallallahu had a high cheekbones. Had a high cheekbones. So basically there is not a lot of meat in his cheek. Because this is not a something in that day good to be described to describe a man with. It is good in the woman's, but it's not good in the men. Uh, as a quality of the body in the at least in that culture. And his cheek, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
was rosy. Her cheeks were rosy. The color of his cheek were rosy. And the Prophet ﷺ had a, a, a big beard, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He used to cover his neck and the upper part of his chest from shoulder to shoulder like this, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And you can hear, and it was curly. His beard, sallallahu were curly, was not straight. And sometimes the Prophet ﷺ, when he recite silently, whispering, when he recite, you can hear his beard moving, like the sound of the hair, because of his talk. That means it was very big beard. In Nabi ﷺ, never ever cut anything from his beard. Never been narrated the Prophet ﷺ shaved his beard. Or take anything from it. He used to grow his beard, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he ordered the Muslims to do so. The Prophet sallallahu beard were black, and he used to dye his beard with henna and kutum. And once he saw a man, his beard is big, but it's messy. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, why you do not take care of your hair? Can't you fix it? But not fix it like today to cut it and almost shave it. No, fixing it by brushing it. And some scholar said, if there is like uh, hairs coming out or like, take it, it's like making it look bad, like one or two or three hair you can Cut it. Some, some scholars like Imam Malik rahimahullah said that. But the Prophet he, ne- he never had, uh, he never cut anything from his beard sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He had a light mustache. You can see he used to cut, to, uh, to cut his mustache to the extent you can see the color of his skin sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Underneath of that, hair. So he will not grow his mustache, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to be thick to the extent you can't see the, the skin underneath of his mustache. No, it was light. You can see what's under it. And the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, also in some narration he cut his mustache from the sides, and he never allowed his mustache to grow over his upper lips, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He used to put the miswak, the miswak, above his upper lips like that, or on his mustache, then he will cut whatever extra. Will cut whatever extra with the scissor, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also, he had umfuqah. Wal umfuqah, hiya sha'urun nabit tahta al-shifati sufla wa bayna al-dhuq. The Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had umfuqah. Umfuqah, it, it is the hair which is grow under that uh, lower lips. This hair, here under your lower lips, it calls umfuqah. The Prophet Sallallahu had hair in this part. And he used to leave it and he didn't shave it, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is show that it is separate from his beard. You can tell it's something separate from the beard, is not mixed with the beard. And it was black. So see this face, with this wide mouth, beautiful teeth, with amazing eyes, a curly eyelash, thick, black, and a black eyebrow and a rosy forehead 